True news this week, Brian. Plenty to cover. Oh, still busy. So, sorry, Brian's just busy on his. He is running his own business. He is an entrepreneur. If you want to make money like us, go hit the link in the description. Uh, before I take the piss out of uh, what he's done, I don't actually know how bad it is. Is it bad? Well, we can take a look after these messages. Hey, you watching at home? You? Yes, you. Yes. Yeah. You. You. Good. You probably already heard of Raid Shadow Legends. Have you? Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, of course. Well, if you haven't, yeah, you are a lucky boy. Yeah. Good point. Or girl. It's, it's basically a really great dark. RPG fantasy game. Brian and I have both been playing it for quite some time. On your mobile though, yeah. that's that's the key here. It, not it's not on console. No. It's the best damn mobile game you ever did see. But guess what? It looks like it should be on a console. Oh, that's how great it is. That's the funny thing, Brian. It's not only on mobile anymore, it's also on PC. Unbelievable Boom. scenes! Boom! Scenes! Thank you! He <laughs> said we want it accessible on PC. They yep. went, no problem, lads. Yeah. We got this. They said it could never be done. Well, here. Here it is done. So when you first get on the game, this is what you see, right? It wants me to do a battle. Galek, get him. Boom, 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 you're done. Wow, one of them's dead. So confusion. Right, now to the next one's this one. No, that one, no, that one. <laughs> boom, thank you, goodbye. And now onto the final bit. You're both gonna burn. See ya. Let's go to the portal, see what this does. I'm gonna summon something for 500. Oh, cool, okay. So now I'm this guy. And then the cool thing is when you get back, you can just take a look around your champion. Take, Brian, look at that. Oh, he's a right beast, him, isn't he? He's beautiful. Look at that. This looks good on phone, so I think it's going to look amazing on PC. So that's how you play the game, Brian. You can see it's pretty good. It progresses well. That was just the start. No, but you forgot one thing, Lawrence. What? The battle pass. Oh, is yeah. Is here. Yep. Season one is now live. Live. You can win awesome rewards, including free energy refills, gems, upgraded artifact sets, and new epic and legendary champions by fulfilling the daily and weekly challenges. Uh, if you want to join me on there, at Cast. It's not hard. So go to the video description to help the show and Raid Shadow Legends. And if you're a new player, you get 100,000 silver, one free energy refill, one XP boost, and one free champion. This is Adjudicator. Oh, look at that powerful woman. I bet you she's a right sassy boss. If she told you to do the dishes, you wouldn't argue, would you? Straight away. Is that clean enough? That's the only question I'd be asking. Where'd you get that from? And you'll find your extra rewards here in your inbox for the next 30 days. So what are you waiting for? Go to the video description and download Raid Shadow Legends right now on your mobile for free. Problem yeah. before we get started. New chain. Someone's earning money. Is that because you've possessed financial freedom movements? No, it's actually oh. quite cheap. Oh. Uh, I just like it. You did the old Tyson Fury thing. I went, I went down tip and I found this. I didn't find in this a in a tip. Oh, yeah. Well, it looks like you did. <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah. the stall you... wasn't the nicest stall, but I wouldn't call it a tip. Sure. Do you before we go in on Jake, yeah. Bit of rust on that. I did actually say on the last podcast, yeah. people are a bit harsh on him. Yeah. That doesn't mean I can't find this funny. Yeah, no, you're allowed to laugh mm. at other people, mm. just not in a vicious way. Not. So, Nasty. We are about to become it's gonna be bad, this, financially it? free. They say we're entitled and lazy. They tell us to go to college, get a job, retire at 65. First question, yeah. who was they? The, the others. The ones Parents? Who, no, anyone. Retire at 65. How's that working out for us? And we don't know yet. You're 20. He's a YouTuber who didn't go to college and get a yeah. job. I have been to college. University, as we call it in the UK. It was pretty good. I had a great time. How's that working out for you? Is that, actually... Have you... Well... You yeah. used your degree. You got a job. Yeah. Work, uh, work your way up in a career. Work my way up. Just Think, work things my going way good up. for you. Yeah, working my way up. Solid. Your asshole. <laughs> I learned that in uni as well. I'll tell you that now. <laughs> <laughs> Our generation is better than this. We deserve better. We're smarter. So what's the solution? We need to create a movement for our generation. One that inspires people to take action to achieve their dreams. Same Nebulous right. concepts that don't mean anything. Gen genuinely. Action, achieving dreams. No, why is he in a log cabin? Nothing screams success like a massive log. Dan Fleischman, he's the youngest founder of a publicly traded company. They fucked up there. Why? Well, they've given the game plan away. It's on the board behind them. Ah, I silly. I can see that. Yeah, they go. I don't have to pay a penny here. Web design, photographer, video editor, DJ. DJ. <laughs> Brian, when life gives you lemons, like shit videos, this is the website that gives you the lemonade. Do you know what I mean? 1999 a month though. That's more than Netflix. They say we're entitled, lazy. They're entitled and lazy. You've done they say we're entitled and lazy. They tell us to get a job. Go, go to college. They, sorry. No, no. They yeah. tell us to go to college, college, get a job and retire at 65. How's well, that? how's that working out for us? Well, if you're 65, <laughs> you're probably <laughs> you not watching out. Jake Paul. <laughs> yeah, still have no idea what the fuck we're being sold. Should yeah. we just buy it? Oh, it's a lot of money to spend. Though, it's it? $19. We're, we're what, sponsored by Raid this week. Trying to pay the... Wow, registration is $39.99. Oh, okay. A year... A, 
your yeah. details. Okay, We're I not think putting my details in here. Lawrence, McKenna. Quit your job and fire your boss or quit school because you've been lied to. The system is broken. <laughs> Ask yourself, why are there teenagers making millions of dollars and broke 40 and 50 year olds? Because times have changed. Also because sometimes the economy has poor people and rich people and young people sometimes can capitalize on things that are changing quickly. Particularly if your parents are poorer, it's, it's harder to it's grow a, from yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, it's harder, yeah. Let me have a Harry Bow because I'm feeling successful. This is a success, Harry Bow. Okay, so, next slide, Brian, next slide. We're on our way to financial freedom. I hope they don't sue us for giving away all their secrets. Money-making machines, that's what yeah. I am. <laughs> Hi, I'd like to buy a money-making machine. So much, so many ways to make money now and so many different, like, like websites. That touch it's, of the nose, right? I've been watching a little bit of the Believing Bruce YouTube channel, who's expert body language guy. That touch of the nose is not, it's never a good look no, when you're trying a, to act no. like you know what you're talking about. That, this, I'm concerned. I mean, yeah, yeah. People, I get bombarded every single day like, hey, do you know a good videographer? Do you know a good video editor? And it's so tough. So far, we've heard you can become a video editor. <laughs> Right? That is basically what we've got. Yeah. There's just a, such a need for videographers and video editors. So sometimes you don't have to be the videographer, you might just be a video editor. Okay. So ah, oh, ah. You can record videos <laughs> and then edit them. <laughs> My God. God, this is, this is novel God. stuff. Yeah. And it's something that can generate... Uh, a, it's a, a high paying revenue. job. Yeah. Like there's people making 100, 200, 300 bucks an hour for these things. The point that they, they made was like, you're gonna be basically a millionaire at the start of this. And now they started by saying, well, you could edit videos for th like $300. $300 an hour. And if you do that for long enough, say to the age of 65, you will be a millionaire. <laughs> you're going to have to buy a camera. You're going to have to, you know, start making. I can't help this anymore. This is hilarious. This is amazing. He's, we're literally buy a camera, record a video, and then edit the video. Then take that camera and go shoot. Go go develop relationships. Go start to get booked for doing these for doing these jobs and- I really wonder, cause there are impressionable people out there who will buy this yeah. and who will literally be having their notepad out and going step by step. Well, I've just made my notes here. Buy camera. Shoot stuff use, would be- well, Use camera, Brian. He didn't specifically say shoot stuff. He says use the camera. No, what he said is you'll, you'll be booked for jobs. And I'm, I'm literally thinking that is so vague. Like what, what, what am I shooting here? <laughs> I'll be booked for jobs. The point I'm saying is if you're gonna charge people 1999, you can't get up there with stuff written down on a board and ad lib. No. Like this shit needs to be formulaic. It needs to be really like thought through and pre mm -hmm. These two are riffing here. So if you were a videographer or photographer anywhere in the world, how would you get started? I would, I would literally go like film. <laughs> I like this kid, but this is just not, it's not good, is it? Oh my God. How would you want to get started as a boxer? I'd punch, I'd punch a little. These are just examples. Whatever the skill is that you have, there's ways to make money. You could be a tattoo artist. Okay. The fact that they, this whole thing was about Fresh becoming notes. a millionaire, Come and then shit. they're telling me become a tattoo artist. <laughs> Any of these skills that you like or you can think of? Yeah, so uh, I think personal training is a huge one. In my experience, if there's one thing the world doesn't need, it's fucking personal trainers yeah. right now. Mm -hmm. There's enough of them. There's more personal trainers in the gyms than there are people fucking training in the gyms. Yeah, but that's There's because personal trainers bumping into each other going, can, can I do your free lesson? Mm -hmm. I was going to ask you the same thing, Paul. <laughs> Everyone eats food. Yes. So there needs to be a chef to make that food. And if it's something you're interested in, uh, then again, it's like, I'm a chef. <laughs> I'm a chef now. I'm a chef. Here's the problem, right? We've signed up for a course from a YouTuber. But the thing is, he's actually employed supposedly like skilled people to help them along with this. Yeah. I thought this would be more well put together. I thought some company had gone to him and went, look, we'll do everything. Uh -huh. You come along, you say the words, you act like you fucking care, and we'll pay you a kickback for being involved. This doesn't look like it's being well thought out at all, does it? But there was this girl here in LA and all she would do is make a bunch of meals and package them up in the yep. containers and like pay, and then give them out to people. Hello, I've, I've got a meal for you. Why would I take this meal? Well, I'm a chef. Are you a qualified chef? I'm a chef. <laughs> Look, I've got a hat, all right? People want healthy food. People want to be, people want, the want those fresh meals, that, that convenience. And so you can build a simple business out of making uh, bulk amounts of food packaging it and then dropping it off at people's front doorstep. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you get home from you, you work open at the night. door and you're like, <laughs> someone's, someone's left me a, a takeaway here. This is bizarre. <laughs> it's just a guy <laughs> wait, wait. Lawrence, did you order anything? No. Nah. Did you? No. Nah. Just a guy at the bottom of the garden path going, I'm a chef. You can pay me if you like it. A lot of times people create artwork, but they don't know how to make money from it. 
How would you say to start getting your art into money? How he's going to make this into a money making scheme? I'm interested. <laughs> Literally, I was thinking. Cause, I cause was like, I'm in. Artists, it's it's hard. Yeah. You know, he rolls his sleeve. <laughs> I'm not a body language expert. <laughs> this roll of the sleeve is the biggest. I haven't got a fucking clue what to say. Uh, body language thing. It's interesting because the artist thing is like so so different, but yeah. it's perception yes. art is perception so like, if you're perceived like your art is worth so much money and and you know you uh you carry yourself in that sort of way i've got to give credit right as bullshit as go jake paul is right up there with one of the best yeah, this is amazing ever. the fact that he he went art is perception yeah that and then that started going money. on about basically if you perceive your art to be worth a lot of money other people will too <laughs> to be fair like, that's actually that, true not as full of shit as this is i don't know how he made it through that no he's a politician outside of that jake paul also commented on ksi bro i'm gonna i tell you i'm gonna knock this kid out in the first round KSI, uh, you want you want revenge for your brother 100 have to avenge the family name but ksi bro i know you're gonna be watching this stop being an embarrassment you said you'd fight me after the face off i'm ready for that yeah i want to see it now. Mm -hmm. the face off sold it especially yeah. the whole him versus gabe and then if he beats gabe he gets the fight mm -hmm. that's what we want to see now it felt like wrestlemania didn't that's it? the only youtuber fight i give a fuck about anything else bear whatever yeah oh have you heard you had a beef with them um, zane from one direction go on drum early what i love about this video the the title is zane versus logan paul fight footage huh. so you're thinking a scuffle yeah they got it on camera Shafel. right literally your facts my, my friend, my friend, my friend. Talk, talk to me for, talk to me for one second. Basically, it's Logan on one side of a door, and then Zayn from One Direction, who won't come out, shouting from the other side of the door. That's the fight footage we've got here. What? Why? Jake tweeted something out, being because Zayn didn't give him like. Props. Yeah, so yeah. then Jake tweeted out saying, I, I, I could slap this guy or something like that. Right. And then he's hiding on the other side of the door. like. Yeah, you probably could. Yeah. You wish you could slap L me. You're lucky I don't come out there and beat the fuck out <laughs> yeah, of you. Yeah, but I'm currently locking myself in here for your for your safety. Yeah, yeah, All this right? is for you, mate. Jake shouldn't have threatened him on social, sure. but in, in reality, that it did happen. Like Jake would beat the hell out of this little guy. You know what I mean? It's not Zane's really... in pretty good shape though, Brian. Those aren't just disco muscles. And his name he is Zane. He sounds like a bit of a knob there. So Logan's being like, just talk to us for a second. Yeah. And he's like, uh, and he's like Bolton yeah. <laughs> accent. I'm also a chef and an entrepreneur, you cunt. So apparently Logan said, Jake needs something. And I, ha I hate that I've got to say this, but he needs his Tokyo. Like he needs to calm the fuck down sort of thing. What he said, what he basically means is he needs a moment which sort of bolts him out of that, gets him out of being well, like I, this. Ultimately, when you're a successful person at every point in everyone's life, you when they're very anymore. successful, they need that moment where they go, you're not Superman. Like you right. can still fuck up, you know what I mean? I mean, mm -hmm. big time. Yeah. So hopefully he comes back down to planet Earth. Yeah, but not with a suicide forest kind of moment. No, I, I hope, I hope he just he matures. Out and, and, and the problem is though, when, when you're flying high, mm. it sometimes takes a hard punch to the face. Maybe JJ can help with that. Yeah. Right. Do you remember our old friend, Brody TV? I do. If you don't, he has a very fast montage. Hey, Joker, bitch! <laughs> That's it means bracket, motherfucker! Hey, you're cute. Can I take you on a date? Brody's done it again. You, you've not seen this yet, have you? No, what is this? So Brody went to VidCon, which is obviously a huge event. And when they're on stage, he has a word with the guy backstage. He's like, look, can I ask my girlfriend something? You know where this is going? Well, this is where it went. My name is Brody, but my friends call me Chody. Um, I'm coming out. It's been a tough couple. It's been a tough couple months, but I'm coming out as transgender today. I'm just kidding. Oh God! Check the check the reaction when he finally drops the bomb that he's lying. Honestly, you could hear a fucking pin drop. I'm just kidding. Huh? Imagine being the artist sitting there and you've let a guy come up on stage who's gone, I need to tell my girlfriend something. And then he's got up on stage and go, I'm coming out as transgender. You can't throw this guy off stage at this point. Do you know my favorite bit about it, right? Okay. Just check how long before he stops, how long he lets people clap for. Okay. He doesn't interrupt, he's like, he's really lapping this okay. up. Transgender today. He literally goes, give it up, give it up. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> 
I'm just kidding. So here's the actual but footage. He's actually videoed it himself. So I'm coming up as transgender today. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I think it upset this person. <laughs> just got kicked out of VidCon. Video coming soon. Now, before I get on to that, we have to mention J Station. Now, finally, after weeks of putting up this shit, YouTube has decided to demonetize his channel. Good news. Also, great uh, news. Just dropping yeah. that in there. Yeah. A real piece of shit has finally ah. had um, his channel demonetized, and he's taking a break. Do those two factors coincide? You'd think so, wouldn't you? Yeah. I know when I can't make money for being an, an arsehole, I'm less likely to be an arsehole. I need to take a break from YouTube. I just need to. I just need to stop. All social media. I'm on this new thing where I'm trying not to sort of... Be, a, be an arsehole. I'm trying to be a better version of me. And I'm trying not to sort of have a go at people on social media because I don't agree with it. Yeah. I think having a laugh is fine. Sure. He's trying to paint himself out to be the victim of all of this that he's brought on himself because he's acting like a cunt. What The problem with YouTube is it rewards this behaviour. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So if he just gets out of it, he might actually become a better person. Yeah. Maybe he's not a cunt, but he's acted like a cunt. Mm. So therefore, if he stops being one, then he might not actually be one. Brilliant. Great that. Yeah, yeah. Funny how that works. Mr. Station, we hope you're okay. You know what? I think it's time for a celebration. Celebrate True news needs to be more like this. This is what it would be like if you and I were, and I'm, I'm going to make a wild jump here. 40? Uh, I was going to say gay, but fair enough. This Are definitely you saying isn't he's me. gay? Uh, no. NYPD just loves the police. He's an off-duty police officer. Yeah, that's him. That's what I thought. Yeah, this guy could just be a very camp straight guy. Has he come? Well, it was VidCon season in London again, and big and small creators made their way to the big city to interact with each other. A creator gate crashed the stage to give out his message. Now, I'm not going to name this individual. From now on, I'm going to refer to him as Mr. Twat. It turns out he's Canadian. What is it lately with this Canadian craters? First you got Jay Station, then Daniel Minecraft man, and now this twat. Sounds a bit xenophobic to me here. These yeah. Canadians. What is it with all these Canadians? Oh, they're all having a go at people. It is a bit harsh to generalise Canadians. Yeah, no, but he's doing a bit though, isn't he? Is and he, he can give it as well as he can take it, you know? <laughs> Don't! <laughs> he hasn't uploaded anything in three months. He obviously wants people to give him publicity, so he knows people will talk about him. That's generally how publicity works, isn't it? I just don't get, I don't get what his argument is, where he's like, the, uh, what, he's, what he's basically trying to say is Brody does stuff for shock value. That's kind of Brody's thing. Yeah. But if I'm completely honest, I don't think of the Brody... The three months break isn't anything to do with, um, you know, shock value. That's yeah. just him being a lazy little twat. Uh, upload more, Brody. Brody told us he would be in an LA mansion by this point this yeah. year. Bro, next year, I'm going to be in LA, man. Brian's sitting there going, He, he told yeah. me a year after the 100k, he would be at 2 million. Now, his content seems to be a variety of pranks, a varying degree of cringe. But one video stuck out the most and I was pretending to be gay at the Pride Parade. Why do you think that one stuck out the most, Lawrence? Maybe he knows his audience. Or maybe he's just upset by that because maybe this guy might be gay. I don't want to make any assumptions, but I feel like he might have an inkling. And I'm not saying that in a mean way. I'm not saying that in a mean way. No, I mean that in a... I mean that, no, no, seriously, I mean that. Well, the fact that... No, it's the fact that you're saying he might be gay. That yeah. just makes me... You know, it's just one of those things where... He might be. You just jump into conclusions there. No, 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 I said idea. I don't want to make any... Con I don't want to make any assumptions that he might no be idea. gay. No. And that's why it might have jumped out to him. Here's a little clip of the video. I've pixelated the twat so he doesn't gain exposure. I love how he says, I've pixelated the twat so he doesn't gain uh, exposure. This, this guy, he's a little on the aggressive. He's, he, his delivery's a little wooden, sure. But it's like someone's thrown a fucking wardrobe in the room and gone, tell it to do the news. He has a point in some of the things he's saying, yeah. doesn't he? Yeah, sure. Appearing to be transphobe, homophobic, and making people feel less safe at a convention. Brody is exploiting the fact that people will clap for things at a concert and then go in, I'm coming out as trans. Everyone claps. He doesn't go, trans people are disgusting. He just goes, I'm only kidding. And then everyone goes, oh. And the reason there's anger here is because the people clapping felt stupid because he so easily manipulated them to do whatever the hell he wanted them to. Yeah. Just by saying a simple sentence. People clapped and you misled them mm. and people are angry about that. I don't because know if that means he's transphobic. Yeah. What he's exploiting is a social trope right now, which is if you say something which is considered I'm to be free. I'm coming out, for yeah, example. Yeah. Then everyone will clap. Pe people root for you then. Yeah. yeah. It's exploiting what people expect and then Brody's going, nah, actually I'm a dick. Here's the thing. What he's actually done is shown that VidCon is trans friendly because everyone applauded when he said he was well trans. Well done, VidCon. And then he went, I'm not trans. And everyone went, 
Boo. Can I just say, if I get up there at VidCon and go, I'm, I'm straight, will yeah. they boo me? No. All right, that's okay. Because then. VidCon is not heterophobic. That's okay yeah. then. It's not phobic of anything. Have you because, ever been to VidCon? Uh, no, I'd, I'd rather stick pins in your eyes. What about that young kid who went um, viral for getting bullied? So for those who don't know, and I mean let, literally, this is the oldest news right now. Little Quaid and Bill was in his, his car and his, his, he's crying, being bullied at school, right? So obviously he's a little guy. God bless him. And his mother's recording saying, you know, this is what bullying does. It was awkward because you're like, all right, I feel that she's trying to get across the pain bullying causes. And she's like, we're at a point now where this is my only hope to stop the bullying. The problem is, that's not the case. You wonder why kids are killing themselves. Give me right now. I'm going to stab myself with an uh. You watch me. Even you do, Caroline, I'm looking at you. You don't even do anything. Aww. <laughs> you're fucking, you're so hot. No, I'm not being harsh. I'm just, <laughs> so if that clip is true. So, so here's what happens, right? The internet does what the internet does. So it's like, so they, they set up a GoFundMe. Yeah, I keep And then hundreds yourself. and hundreds of thousands of dollars were raised. They were like, oh, let's send him to Disneyland or whatever. Apparently, Woo! Apparently he's rejected it. I don't know what's, I've just seen that in the headline. Yeah, I mean, I wonder why he'd reject it. Look at those little socks on him. Why I don't know like why. This? It just, he gets me. Little, Do you know the full story here? I mean, I, I don't really. But the point is, he's got little socks on. It's G sad. Gio, am I wrong here? I thought this kid, this was a prank. It isn't a prank, it's real, man. I thought this was a he's prank. He's actually though, nine years old, man. He's not, though. This is this is the problem with the internet. There's that much fake news goes around, you don't know what's real anymore. So, Gio, is That's this kid not? That's why we're here, Lawrence, to find out the truth. So, he took some other photographs where it made him look like a bowler. Why is a nine-year-old I had an 18th birthday Maybe partner. Maybe his cousin. When I was 18, Would you have wasn't had that long ago. Yeah. Right? You don't involve nine-year-olds. Yeah. <laughs> I must admit, this does make me wary of yeah. the whole thing. Is I'm not, not, I don't know what to believe actor, anymore. Actor, extra, model, slash influencer. So okay, let me show you this, all right? Can we turn this down? Because we, I might get copyrighted. Yeah. Well, he does look badass there, doesn't he? With his little sure. tank top on. He looks, okay. uh, not that looks good, doesn't it? He looks gangster there. Wow, Steph Curry's looking good. Okay, in oh, video did he get caught? Oh, yeah, no. Wow, he didn't really say it, did he? Sure oh, I'm heartbroken. Right. Yeah, because you like his little socks. Yeah. I'll pop these guns out for you, nigga. I am unsure what to think about this because obviously, if he's young, he might have just been listening to a few too many like mm -mm. Ice Cube songs. Mm -mm. You don't put that online. He says it a lot. You don't put that online. She's been filming him too much, hasn't she? It's also there's um, something going on here, and I don't know what it so is, so which is so why so I don't so want to cover has, it. Really. He has the conspiracy theory. Apparently, his mum, his mom, as we say, um, she shut saying. down all their social media sites and right. stuff. So, so apparently, they're covering and they're going like, "No, you keep the money. We don't want to be bothered anymore." I don't think she realised just how viral this would go. Yeah. This is the thing, though, right? She wanted him to be a social media superstar. Be careful what you wish for. I think this is just one that we've got to chalk up to um, anyone's guess, really. I feel like we've let you guys down. No, no, no. We pride ourselves on delivering the news in a truthful way. But some stories you just can't get to the bottom of. Not yet, anyway. And for that, you've got that fella from the NYPD. Yeah, exactly. He can he, get to the bottom of anything. Is he the... Tyler's had a bit of a beef with that... Um, that other game, my fella. Tifu. Tyrion Lannister. Tifu. Oh. Ninja got um, hacked. The hacker challenged Tifu. Oh. And then I think Tifu challenged him back, in which case Ninja was like, no, mate, I'm not going to fight you. Yeah, because it was a hacker. Yeah, but see what you see what you Yeah, sure. Okay. All right, chat. I woke up this morning to a whole bunch of heat on Twitter. I guess supposedly Ninja called me out, challenged me to a fight. Did he mention this guy to you when he met us? Yeah, yeah. He said, uh, that Tifu guy. And I went, bless you. And he said, that Tifu guy. Oh, I hate him. Mm. And then we did the podcast and we didn't mention it. Deliberately. Yeah. yeah. He went, don't say that on the podcast, though, because mm -hmm. I'd hate to know he's, I'm talking about him because I'm really powerful and cool. Mm. And I'd hate it if this dick said something. Yeah. I never mentioned this to anyone before, but he actually did try to get me permanently banned behind my back. Tried to literally ruin my career. And honestly, I should have called him out then. For some reason, I didn't. I just let it slide. But like, I don't know why. Didn't Ninja really try to get him banned? No. That's like top of the list of didn't fucking happen. Yeah. Ever. When you're that successful, you don't give a fuck about what other people are doing, realistically. Actually, Fortnite kind of sucks now. The fuck happened? Ninja replied, I actually have been enjoying the game recently. After the Gotham, Gotham City update, if you didn't enjoy the game, 
stop playing it and roasting it all the time. Zing I, killed I, him. I, I don't think he's, that isn't that like. That's pretty nasty, Brian. No, but the, That's a low blow here. <laughs> he literally just said, if you don't like the game, don't play the game. This food's not very nice. Oh, well don't eat it then. Well, you want to fight? I'm giving him the opportunity now to try to tear me down in the ring. Like, I don't care, UFC, MMA, whatever. The KSI, Logan Paul, sh it went down, it went well. Like, why don't we do it? Like, let's run it. Like, I'm not scared. If anything, he's scared, you know what I'm saying? Like, let's be honest, right? This guy's in decent shape. Yeah. Like, Ninja is not a fucking fighter. He's he's a ninja. Like, the point is, is bit of a geek. Yeah. Is a gamer. Mm. Barely works out, like, but is killing the game financially. Mm. He's, he's top of the game in gaming. So you're just saying, like, I can't beat what you've done in the gaming world, so I just want to fight you. Yeah, but he's a ninja. Imagine he just come in and he actually knew Kung Fu. Does all, yeah. Randomly. Does all that shit. Karate Kid yeah. kicked him straight to the head. <laughs> You know? No can defend. Yeah, well, that's too far. So, so Amber Rose has always been super hot in your mind, not my mind. Ugh. Amber Rose was Kanye West's missus for a period of time before you went with Kim Kardashian. She was really popular because she was just like wild woman with a wild guy. At the yeah, time. and he wrote a lot of very sexy and, songs about and her. And then she got with Wiz Khalifa and had a couple of kids with Wiz Khalifa. She just liked rappers. Oh, wow. She's went and got a fucking head tattoo. Yeah, for now, her kids' names. We're not, I, I don't want to like character assassinate people here. No. I wouldn't recommend anyone get the words bash or hash put on their forehead. I, mean, I, I can't believe that this is their fucking names. I don't think those are their names though, are they? Beauty is not what's on the outside, said the person who was a model. It's what's on the inside that counts. Inside of my pussy and inside of my heart. Well, wow. we know what's usually inside your pussy, love. I mean... A baby. Well, rappers. Well, the baby came out of a pussy. It was bash or hash. The people that are telling me I'm too pretty for a face tat are the same people that would tell me that I'm too pretty even if they thought it was ugly and lie to me, lol. Or they would just tell me I'm ugly. So either way, the moral of the story is to do whatever the fuck you want in life. I, I, I wouldn't say Mother. do whatever you want in life. No. I'm not saying she was too pretty for a, a tattoo. No. I just think if you need to look in the mirror to remember your kids' names, then you probably shouldn't have them. I've left my kids somewhere. What are their names? Read my forehead. I'm not saying she can't get a face tattoo. No, she has. The full fucking forehead. It's a bit extreme, isn't it? I just don't get it. You know face tattoos? You either need to go all in or not at all. No, no, yeah. no, you don't. So, Amber, you need to get more face tattoos. Love, no, you don't. All right? Get a couple more. You know, bash, hash, lash, trash, mash, sash, um, ash, cash. cash, tash, everything across your forehead. And that's good. I think face tattoos is one of the fads that's going to be the most regrettable in future. Yeah. Mum, like, what's that on your forehead? Well, it's not the first thing I've had on my face, love. No, the thing is, you can wipe that off. Yeah. So this is like the biggest ASMR channel, I think. Gibby? GB, I think she's called. She does this thing where she just like... This is the thing about ASMR. Let must me tell you annoying. about ASMR. Girls, yeah, right? it must be annoying. She can never shout. Do you think if she argues, when, when they're arguing, she goes, I'm so mad right now. I can't even believe you. You're really pissing me off. You've really fucked up our date tonight. I don't even want caramel anymore. I hope you're happy with yourself. You can't. Right, JB, well, if we? you're watching, we're f butchering this. We'd love to have you on the podcast. We'd love to do a whole podcast going, GB, welcome. No, ge I genuinely, I'd like to do an ASMR podcast at some point. Well, it'd be cool because I, I bet you they go through all sorts of weird stuff that we'd never know about. Do you think she cries quietly? Like, as well? let's be honest, right? People go to sleep like watching her. Yes. You know, like, so well, the, I'm sure they sleep after what they mostly finish watching no, her. Do you no, know what no, I mean? No, no, no. <laughs> so here's, here's part of the criteria. Woman. Kind. It's like a, a, a caring nature. Like, yeah. I, I'm caring about you. Yeah. That's the feeling that she they're trying to. You want someone who loves you, basically. You fall asleep, you don't feel loved. You want to feel loved, and she makes you feel loved. There's a bit close to home. Pathetic, no, yeah. Bit close to home. Pathetic. Now. Hello everybody. My name is GB and welcome back to my channel. I find her voice so soothing straight off the belt. Do you think you you have a crush on her? No, 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 no this is platonic. Like, I don't mean this disrespectfully. I'm sure no. she doesn't find me attractive. But the point is, I don't look at her in that way. Like I say, it's like, like, a, it's like a friendly vibe. Ah. Yeah. She's not putting out sexual advances. She's just on the other end of a screen, minding her own business, making lovely noises, and I happen to be listening to them. Yeah. Do you think when she has sex, she's like, oh, that's really good. I don't know. Okay, well, we don't no, need to guess. You know what it is, Lawrence? It's my shock you. Yep. Can, I, can I shock you? Yeah. I'd never thought of it. Wow. Okay, so this woman, this lov lovely little woman. Is she? She's tucking us in, Lawrence. Let's get tucked in. Let's tuck in. Hello, beautiful. Are you ready for bed now? I like being called beautiful. Do you not like that? I feel like we're a baby in a pram. Like maybe we are, Lawrence. Maybe. <laughs> maybe we're just young babies in a pram. Do you go... Hello. Uh, no, I don't. Right, okay. It feels so nice to sink into, doesn't it? 
This is freaking me out. Her voice is lovely. I feel like she's really invading my personal space. Well, like, I feel like I'm like... Because that's what you do when you talk to someone in bitch. Yeah, back off. L- leave her alone. Back off, I can tuck myself in. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> she's yeah, got I'm a sure. real mumsy vibe. She's tucking us in. We're all happy about it. Hmm. We're just two little brothers. Yeah. Sitting there. Just, yeah. All right, mum. And I'm going, don't do this, mum. No, do it. Go back do to, it, mum. Go back to Coronation Street, Please. Mom. No. I want tucked in. Yeah. And if he doesn't want tucked in, he shouldn't have gone into bed. Yeah. What a weird set of twins. What would you do if you were to do an ASMR channel? I quite like this one. The sweeping lines and curves catch your eye. And of course, here's the iconic Mustang look. It's weird how soothing this is, isn't it? It's not, because it isn't. It's a beautiful car as well, let's be honest. <laughs> just like the car. <laughs> Can I just say this? There was a man who was in his house and suddenly he just sees this woman walk up the drive in high heels, put a camera down and just start filming. He's just going, it's a bit weird. But... Sandra, yeah. there's a woman out there scraping her nails along the Mustang. St- stra- scraping her nails along, along my 2016 Ford Mustang. She goes, oh, is she back again? Can you do me a favor? Yeah. Search vampire ASMR. I wonder if any of them have dressed up as va- I like women who are vampires. Do you? Yeah. That's not a sexual thing. It's just something I think looks cool. Oh. Like they look hot. Okay, here she is. I vampire measuring you for feeding. Wow. Ooh. She's gonna do long take. Uh, Rotund. Yeah. Well, no, no. I was thinking, of, I was making a joke about your dick. But. Wow, she's got the fangs in. It does say fucking vampire. When she was gonna do the vampire, do you think she's gonna dress up in I, black and black? I didn't black? think the fangs would look so real. Right. They look really real then. Welcome. Why is it just like... Do you think that's sexy? The fangs are cool, aren't they? Are they? Yeah. Bite me. Stay- Bite me! I just want to see if this person's still going. Happy Valentine's Day! Breakfast food! He is exactly who I'd expect her to be with. 100%, yeah. Some sort of evil genius. You ready for a nice Valentine's Day, babe? Hmm? I said, you ready for a nice Valentine's Day? Yes, I'm, it's already started out good. You ready for the Valentine's Day, baby? Yeah, of course. Why else would she be with him? Why else would you be with me? You know, I you just talk like this. Yeah, bah, 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 bah. I'm just gonna put that on my bacon. Yeah, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna pop that down I'm over there, baby. I'm gonna put that on my bacon, yeah, baby. Yeah, because you my bacon. You know what yeah. I'm saying? You ready for that Valentine's Day, baby? You ready for that Valentine's dick? What you got planned? Um, do what I say. Or do you want to be kind of surprised? We're going to your favorite place, baby. We're yeah. going to Walmart. We're going to Walmart. Oh, we're going to get all the food and drink that you like, baby. We're going to get a, a 50 pound lobster, oh, a 60 pound lobster. Anything. Everything else is sticking in here. Mm. <laughs> mm. You be a nasty. Mm. As, a, as a man who likes um, thick women, yeah. right? You mean uh, bigger women, not women who aren't smart? It's hard not to get, sort of, imagine how excited this guy gets with her. Oh, because yeah. There's no leg on this it, side of the it, table. It, it, I it's, just need you to know that. It's the way he keeps looking at her like... <sighs> you a dish. Like, calm down, bro. Yeah. Like, Either of their families probably watch this and go... Her family are well used to this. It's his family I'm more interested in. When he goes like, yeah, I got a girlfriend or whatever, and they find out and they start like watching her just guzzle down lobster. And the video, by the way, starts, hello. <laughs> they come, they go, David, what are you doing it's with just, your life? Uh, this is a, it's a bit different. Yeah. It's, 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 it's hard to explain. Why to, can't you find yourself a nice Southern girl? <laughs> to a family who aren't like YouTube savvy, it must be really strange. Yeah. Because it's not like she's sitting there giving her opinions about like, you know, Politics, what's happening in yeah. modern day culture. She is just gobbling. Asian! Did you ever see the Toby and Manny? Uh, that was directed by Con. By the way, this is their sister as well, singing. Is it? Yeah. What a family. I just assumed it was Talia Mar. Look how cool it looks. Like. The look on this video is really it good. It is sick. Yeah, Con, yeah. you smashed it, son. Yeah, I'm you really did, yeah. Destined for greatness. Back in school days, I was known for my lateness. Always wanted more, wouldn't ever try to take less. Always been the real guy, never liked the fakeness. Can I just say, yeah. Manny's voice is actually like good. Yeah. Like in terms of like Ooh, a rapper voice. Don't like Toby's. Well, not, but I think Manny's is better. No offense, Toby. <sighs> oh, I don't know about that. Toby's probably my favorite side I, man. I, I said it. I, do I like, said it. I do like the way they come back and forward on this though. It made it a bit more interesting. Yeah. Now we roll around and match and whips. If we want to go abroad, we just pay for trips. I love things like that where they, it sounds a little bit lonely island if we want to go aboard we just pray for trips i'm like yes that's how everyone works <laughs> i'm not like no there aren't people out there going they pay for their own trips but it's the point is they can afford to do that yeah. now lawrence yeah but yeah but I, I do think it's sweet it's very literal pay for the games now the 
games pay me or your girl got you free for I got mine for free. Oh! That is nice. To be fair, this whole bit about him where he's like, oh, he he's... pay for the games and now they pay they pay me. I'm like, oh, that is a good line. That's like getting sponsored by someone that you dream of getting sponsored by. I, like, I, that's the you know what I, what I watch is what I thought is that, uh, like, obviously, bearing in mind, this sister is also singing. Yeah, not uh, Tally Amar. The parents must be like, like we look wow. at what we did. Look what we, got, we did. Look, yeah. look at us. De yeah. Look, look at us. Look at us. Look at us. Destined for greatness. <laughs> <laughs> they look over at JJ's parents in church and go, mm. "Well, yeah." Mm. The less said about that, the better. Our boys wrap together. Yeah. Mm. You know. How's Tank, by the way? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we've made it to that time now. Where in the video, Brian and I go back and we watch uh, a kid eat food. And <laughs> after last podcast, some people go, oh, stop bullying him. I don't like it when you bully people. And we're not bullying him. He's in on it, if anything. And it's affectionate. Do, I do think that people are misplacing. Affectionate like, jostles. Yeah, like a bit of a bit of joking on to um, bullying. Yeah. Because uh, this, this is where you become a social justice warrior. Then, mm. where you're, you sit at the fuck down. And yeah. I genuinely love Tyler. Food reviewer. Oh! I do reviews on the YouTube. Yes, you do. You never do such a cool dude. Why? So yes. Do you know why? I don't. Because I know where to buy that food. food. All right, guys, what's going on? It's Food Reviewer. We're back. We're at Burger King today. We're trying the new Cheddar Bacon King. Let's get into it. Do you know what it is, right? When I see his little face, I just think, I missed you. Yeah. Have you woken up? No, and then I think I missed you, yeah. He looks a bit like a bird today, but I don't know why. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know where you're going with this, but... So per usual with these uh, Bacon Kings, this thing is freaking massive. What do you reckon? I think... I'm sorry, though. Uh, yeah, I think he's going to say it's okay. I don't think he's going to be blown away. All right. Nice big bite. Big bite. How many bites do you say before we get a, a uh, reaction? I think two, actually. This looks I'm, like a I'm very going, I'm going three. Wow. We're on one. One. Count them. Swallow that. He hasn't fast. even. All right, he's locked up now. Wow. Okay. That's the second one. Wow. Okay. Oh, right. he's adjusting. What anyway. I want is another bite Ooh. before he finishes. Thinking? Before he swallows, I want one more bite. Oh, there go you on, go. Go on, son. Oh, go on. Right. It's normally. Go on. Three. Yes. Oh. Do I know my food reviewer? Well, I most would prefer no ketchup. And then ketchup is very overpowering. I don't like ketchup. How long have we been watching this guy for? Two years? Three years? I've seen him have ketchup a out lot. like a million times. Yeah. I don't really like it. It's a bit like when he didn't like syrup on his yeah, or on his butter pancake. Remember that? Yeah, on his pancake. I'm not really a big fan of it. Don't really like syrup. And there then he literally just poured the whole thing on. There we yeah. go. All right, guys. So the bacon, the cheddar, cheddar bacon king from BK. I'm gonna go ahead and say it's kind of like in the middle of not a buy and a buy. I'm pretty sure that between us we were accurate there. He went, it's all right. I said he thought it'd be okay, but not amazing. I feel a five out of 10 in my head. Max. If you're watching Tyler, could you put a number out of 10 on all, all your foods in the future? Because we really need a scale. Like a buy or not a buy is just not enough for me. It's very, it's very binary. I, I, I need like ratings. I'm gonna go ahead and say it's kind of like in the middle of not a buy and a buy. I called it. It's unbelievable. I, he literally has yeah. proven me bang on there. Yeah, I mean, and it looks that way as well. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. Download Ray Shadow Legends. It helps us make more of these. Genuinely, yeah. we need that. See ya.